style I just wanted to do a little review um, on this charcoal face mask that I've kindly been given from my friend Mai Dowsing who's also now uh, my new body shop consultant. Thank you so much for our little goodie bags, they were so exciting. Um, and thank you so much for this little mud mask. I'm really excited to use it. Uh, this one is called the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask, uh, which means it's really good for impurities on the skin, um, also kind of pores that have opened up, which is great because at the minute mine have really kind of clogged up from a recent breakout so I'm hoping this is going to give me nice glowing smooth skin. Right let's give it a little try. Oh it smells mm, really lovely really almost musky you can see inside all the little bits of green tea um, which are also really really good for the skin. I'm going to use a foundation brush to put this on because otherwise I'm going to end up putting it everywhere. Oh, it goes on to the skin really nicely. Oh, it smells so lovely. I wish you could all smell it. You can see now, now I'm putting it on, all the bits of green tea that are in the mask. It's also got treats tea tree oil in it which again is also really good for breakouts goes on really lovely feels really kind of creamy and rich and just putting on the brush means you can just put it on a little bit more evenly than you would with your hands but I'm sure you could put it on with your hands as well. All even, have I missed anywhere? My chin. You can definitely feel the tea tree and it's starting to work. It's almost like a tingly sensation on your skin which smells so nice I was having a little read up about it before I put it on um, it does say it's a tingling charcoal mask um, enriched with trade tea tree oil from Kenya packed with bamboo charcoal from the Himalayan foothills and green tea leaves from Japan absorb the oils the skin that needs purification to reveal a healthy youthful glowing skin well definitely smells amazing right I'm gonna leave this on for five ten minutes wash it off and then I'll come back and you can all have a little look and see what my skin looks like now bye I just want to show you all quickly before I wash it off how it's dried to my skin. Um, if you can see, it is dried, all kind of absorbed into my pores, which is great because you can feel it really working. Also, it makes your face oh, really tight. So I think that's most probably how you know when it's ready to come off. I've had this on now for about eight minutes. Um, I've still got a few patches that aren't dry. It says that I need to wash it off with warm water and a face cloth in a circular motion, which means it most probably will exfoliate the skin while it's washing off. So I'm gonna go wash it off and I'll be back in a couple of secs. Right, it's all washed off. It came off really easily. I just used warm water and old face cloth and kind of done it in a circular motion. You could really feel it exfoliating your skin, especially all the bits of like green tea leaves that are in there was really kind of getting right in there and giving it a good scrub and clean. I feel now like my skin and pores just feel so much tighter and refined. Um, I can even see that just on here it almost looks like it has helped with some of my little blemishes that are on there. Um, I was just having a, a closer look at my pores and they've definitely shrunk. Um, 
my skin feels amazing feels so lovely and soft so this product is definitely a thumbs up from me it's amazing i'll be buying a bigger tub definitely um i think using the foundation brush definitely helped to make it even um but yes definitely definitely go grab yourself some of the himalayan uh masks because it's just amazing so go and check out Maya's page m D Dowsing, our uh, body shop consultant, and grab yourself a tub of Himalayan mud mask because it is amazing. Thank you.